like in the daytime here on my way back to Basewater. Gotten my immigration renewed for another two months. It's cost 2,800 pesos. That's about 50 bucks. $25 a month. The next one is I have to get my ACR card renewed. I think that costs another 1,200 pesos. Pesos is about 18 bucks right now. So this is one of the ride back home. I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube, but there's some things you know that I ran into that kind of caught me by surprise. The cyber security of MoneyGram has shut down MoneyGram in the United States. That caught me by surprise, and I said, no, nah, this is something that I've never seen before. We're starting to see some strange things here in the Philippines as the result of what's going on worldwide. And finding a safe haven, just in case whatever goes on, is a good idea for anyone. The cost of living here is extremely low. one go down that's about I think that's about 30 about 3,000 pesos total so that comes to like let's say 60 bucks 30 dollars each in case one goes down especially if you're dependent on the internet to make your income or for your entertainment services and my Light bill is right now is about six thousand pesos a month, and I run my air conditioning twenty-four hours a day. So six thousand pesos for running my internet—I mean, not, not my internet, my electric bill—that's like six times twenty is one hundred and twenty dollars a month to cool off a two-bedroom townhouse, which is not bad. So, this is what it's like here. I, you know, I enjoy these excursions. I'm going to start getting out more to show it to you. Boy, he's moving real fast. Here. There's the first one. Looking out the front. There's Wang. She over there feeding her face. So, I've got... Donuts, Jolly Bee, Pop. See over there. <laughs> You're blocking her. Hello. I'm wearing the cover of Sir Charles in a bevis. I, yeah, I would suggest, yeah, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Every now and then, we will see a video of someone trying to identify an expat that has been out here in the Philippines and had a medical emergency and fallen out. And when they get him to the hospital, all of his ID is gone, his luggage is gone. And so I'm gonna suggest and recommend that you never go out to the Philippines by yourself. Because you never know when this heat might, you might have a heat stroke, or something or need some sort of assistance and you need to have somebody with you that you can trust and will know who you are that is very important because that's what I wanted to talk about with you because I was going to go out to the Bureau of Immigration yesterday and something told me that wait and get Wang to go with me because it's just safer that way so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. How do you navigate the Philippines safely as an expat or just a vacationer? Being out here in different areas, you never know what you're gonna run into. I'm just keeping it real with you. I mean, that's why I haven't gotten a motorcycle yet, but I think it's, it's getting time for me to get one. I can't be 
afraid of it forever. So click like and click share. If you got any um, comments or some things you want me to show you, uh, just leave them in the comments and I'm going to get out and do it.